There's one contest also that sticks out with me. This is at Welterweight when you actually stepped up with Zab Judd. Yes, Zab Judd. You beat a couple of good South Bulls before that. Sharma Mitchell, Demarcus Corley. But Zab Judd, there was a bit of grudge there. Vodka! <laughs> <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a Sprite with no sugar. Yeah. So, Zab Judah, the Zab Judah fight. Zab Judah is a hell of a fighter, a tough competitor. Um, early on, the way I beat Zab Judah, let me explain to everybody how, how you beat a fighter that's fast, like you're fast. Timing. You switch up to timing. Counter punching, timing. Do things to slow him down, to slow his speed down. Certain counter punches, going down to the body. And you know, that's what I did, you know, in the Zam Judah fight. But, but, the, but the, the low blow, the low blow took a lot out of me. Took a lot out of me. And I think that I was pressing the attack because I knew that I was going to be able to knock, I thought I was going to knock Zam Judah out. Um, later on in the fight because I've always believed that he was just a front runner. You know, I think that he's, he's strong in the first three or four rounds, but my thing was to go to his body, wear him down and break him down and then knock him out in the later rounds. And just when I seen the knockout coming, I was pressing the attack, then the low blow came. The low blow came. And was it hard to refocus because his corner coming to the ring, your corner coming to the ring is almost a riot, and yet you've got to carry on boxing, which you did. Well, I didn't want to react. You know, um, a real professional is professional. We're not amateurs. We're not amateurs. Um, a real professional uh, avo <coughs> avoids trouble, avoids problems. Uh, thanks, Will. A, a, a real professional. I'm sorry. A, a real professional avoids trouble um, and just make, you know, adapt and make adjustments. Um, and you got to realize, I knew from watching fighters in the past, if you do something um, crazy, you're going to get a fine. And I, w I didn't want to get a, you know, an eight-figure fine, you know. And that was it. I didn't want to get a, a crazy fun. So I stepped to the side and said, you know, I'm going to let the ref handle the situation. <laughs>